Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Manning Field for a big one in the Catholic Central League. This used to be Thanksgiving in whatever month they were playing because Bishop Fenwick had taken on St. Mary's girls soccer, and they used to play on Thanksgiving all the time. They had a couple of problems a couple of years ago, and Fenwick still has to play them in football, but they dropped them on Thanksgiving. So now St. Mary's plays Austin Prep at least for the time being. Austin Prep dropped out of the league, but St. Mary's is still playing him in football, and they may have to find somebody in the near future if that doesn't pan out. Fenwick in the white, St. Mary's in the blue. St. Mary's off the slide. They won their first three. They lost two in a row, and then they came back their last game and won their game to go four and two. So they're looking for two in a row. Fenwick is looking for their first one. They've only played two games. So they have a long way to go in this season. They're 0-2. Lehman McKenna in net for Bishop Fenwick. And the story of this game is the goaltender for St. Mary's who is Alivi Echevarria. And the reason I say that, he's a sixth grader. He's about two feet tall. And she's looking for two in a row. She was in net the last game that they won. And Golda Kennison, unable to play. So Mary's, so Mary's goes to a sixth grader. And St. Mary's is a very young team. They're big players. There's Kabikas's, Brooke Maloney. Just to mention three of their top scorers. Uh, freshmen, sophomores. St. Mary's only has three seniors on their team. He's trying to knock it deep. It's not only difficult to see the numbers, but it's difficult to see anybody because that sun is so bright. You look, it usually is down deep to the left of the stands on the other side. Now it's creeped up, it's even closer. And it is totally bright. And the, the funny thing is, the lights are on here at Manning Field. <laughs> It's a bright sunny day with a blue sky and the lights are on, the sun is shining brightly. And it's difficult to see the field. From long range, the shot goes up over everything out of play. Few of these players on the St. Mary's soccer team are outstanding athletes. They were members of the St. Mary's girls basketball team that won the state championship. And they were young. They've got four stars back and a bunch of very good people coming off the bench that played a lot last year that were very young. They call it all St. Mary's. Fenwick will get the throw in. And it's kids by everybody. Hit, hit one of the players in their head. They knock it deep. Fenwick gets there first and knocks it out of play. Early moments of the first half. Catholic Central League Soccer, St. Mary's. This is Fenwick, girl style. And there he's again with the throw in. So 
Here he gets possession, knocked away. And they kick it back. Shot from long range. McKenna makes the save. She had a good look at that one. I look over the far side. On both sides, both benches are standing up, not sitting down. I'm not sure they're both waiting for the first goal. They knock it deep. It's a foot race. Fenwick will get there first. And it goes out. Off Fenwick. He's got a lot of speed. Brook alone, he can fly. Skabikas, not far behind. There's Issy and Sophie Skabikas. Like actually playing defense now, trying to keep St. Mary's away. They haven't really got into the St. Mary's area yet. Now they finally do. Coming down that far side. Trying to center it. And Etcheverria makes the save, fell on the ball, and the Fenwick player fell on top of her. She made the save, left a little bit of a rebound, fell on it, and then got squashed. And they knock it deep. It's a foot race. St. Mary's is walking in. And they knock it home. They threw the long pass. I think that's Maloney. I told you, she's so quick. They threw the long pass. She just beat the defense, walked in and beat McKenna. And just about seven minutes in, St. Mary's gets on the board. That's a patented Maloney goal. Flying up. Running by everybody. And getting to the ball first and walking in. And McKenna, that's a tough assignment for the goaltender to cover that I call it the Grand Canyon. The ball is loose and it rolls in. They look like they made the save. There was a collision. The officials are discussing it. They give him the goal and it ties it up. There was a collision in front of the net. They banged in to the goaltender and the defender, and then the ball got loose and just rolled in the net. And just like that, less than a minute after St. Mary scores, Fenwick scores to tie it up.
we're going to try and figure out who got that goal. There was a collision. There was a bunch of people in front of the net. They ran into the goaltender, and the two officials discussed it. And while they were discussing it, they come up with, yes, it's a goal. So just like that, it's one-to-one. -one. So that momentum that St. Mary's has is taken away very quickly. And switches over to the young ladies in white. Trying to center it, got tipped, bouncing around. St. Mary's knocks it down, trying to keep it in. Pops back out. And he knocked it downfield. Looking to center it, Howard knocks it away. And then knock it up field and shot it up. Bodies go down, they waited until the ball got blocked. They knocked the ball down field, they blocked it. They looked to kick it up field and then they blew the whistle saying there was, con there was contact, but they waited a long time to call it. Fenwick will get the free kick. And we can't say enough prayers that the sun goes down behind those trees over in Pine Hill. Because we can't see a thing. Headed away by St. Mary's. Broken up, St. Mary's. Call for the knockdown again. Free kick from about the 40 yard line. He moved it way wide left and out of play. If you sit on the stands on the other side, you get to see everything because the sun is behind you. Battling going on, bumping, banging, everybody trying to get possession. St. Mary's finally does, and then Fenwick knocks it loose and gets it back. St. Mary's knocks it deep. Pushing it down the near side. Looking to get around, taking it to the middle. They take the shot, put it right dead center, but I got too much foot on it. Went right over the crossbar and out of play. Substitutions for both teams. And we kicks it away. Here he blocks the pass and takes it away. And they whistle for something. I, don't, I didn't see any contact, but they, they must have called it because St. Mary's getting a free kick from midfield. I think it's Riley McGuire taking it. 
They knock it deep. McKenna comes way out, plays it on a couple of hops. Easy pickings. And she'll kick it away. She knew she didn't bother passing it, and it got taken away. Blocked by Fenwick. Knocked away by Fenwick. They got a break down the near side. They get around. They get the shot. That's a very caught it right around knee high, dropped it, quickly picked it up with a white shirt bearing down on her, and she boots it away. Headed back by Fenwick. Well, it keeps it in. Pass a little behind when they catch up. And they knock it home. They lost it. They got it back from the 20 yard line. They kicked it high in the air under the top crossbar and in the back of the net. And just like that, Fenwick has grabbed the 2 to 1 lead. Tough assignment for the young lady in that she's not that big and that sailed just over her outstretched hand. And he got what they wanted, they got the shot. It's Kabikas from the 10 yard line, got just a little too much on it and it sailed just over the top crossbar and out of play. Trying to center it, Fenwick knocks it away. They get around down the near side, trying to center it out in front. They got it there. They couldn't get the shot off. Now they throw it in front. They tipped it. Maloney was there. She couldn't get a foot on it. McKenna falls on it. They get tied up. The Mears had a golden opportunity. They couldn't get their foot on the pass. They, all they could do was just kind of trickle it to the net. McKenna kind of fumbled it. Maloney had a shot at it. <coughs> and then McKenna just fell on it, and Maloney fell on top of her. And McKenna will kick it away. Fenwick tried to save it and they couldn't. It went out. I thought it went off Fenwick, but they're calling it off St. Mary's. Right in front of the St. Mary's bench is where they'll throw it in. And it, it's, a, it's a free kick, so they call contact. The ball goes through, and Severia grabs it, falls on it, makes the save, and she'll kick it away. Awumi knocks it deep. Maloney broken up. Samiris gets it back. Trying to walk in. Takes the shot, it got blocked. It goes out. Off Fenwick. Like. 
shot got blocked, and then they had a piece of a St. Mary's player that was out in front looking for to get a piece of it. Out in front, they got a head on it. It went wide. It kind of made the shave anyway, but it was going wide. And she'll kick it away. Fenwick coming back. Fenwick breaks it up, knocks it the other way. Fenwick knocks it back. They knock it out. Fenwick knocks it out again. Waiting for a substitution for St. Mary's. Blocked by Fenwick. St. Mary's knocking it deep. Fenwick knocks it away. They fanned on the kick. Gets popped up. Headed away. Blocked by Fenwick. The pass went behind the intended receiver in the middle of the field. Fenwick will take it back the other way. They knock it deep. St. Mary's is back there. I'm not sure why they blew the whistle there. St. Mary's going to get another free kick. It rolled right through the wickets of St. Mary's. Hustling to try and get it. They get there and take it away. They center it out in front. McKenna had it, couldn't make the save. It rolled by, and there were two blue shirts there. They couldn't get a piece of it. And it went wide and out of play. Another big opportunity for St. Mary's. They couldn't get a piece of the ball. We're halfway through and counting this first half. Two to one, Fenwick. St. Mary's took a one nothing lead. Fenwick came right back, scored two very quick goals. And Fenwick knocked it out into the Fenwick bench area. This is the kind of game that if you're going to win one game, this is the game you want to win. These are arch enemies since that fateful night football few years ago when they had a real to-do and every game against Fenwick has become uh, the seventh game of the World Series. So two to one Fenwick over St. Mary's, we get a timeout. We come out of the timeout with Fenwick leading two to one. St. Mary's with the throw in down deep. Fenwick knocks it away. St. Mary's collects. Blocked. Blocked again. They tip it down the far corner. St. Mary's looking for it. Trying to get control. And we got a whistle. And they call. I don't know if they called St. Mary's offside. There was someone behind. Or if they called Fenwick. They were both jostling. They might have called St. Mary's from contact. Fenwick will get the free kick. St. Mary's boots it back. Fenwick knocks it out. That sound is just about gone. The lights haven't really taken effect yet because there's still a bright sky up there. So it looks kind of shadowy down on the field. 
They knock it away. St. Mary keeps it in the zone. Down the near side. Trying to come back, trying to center it. Fenwick got a piece of it, blocked it. It bounces crazy towards the net. St. Mary's gets it. The shot blocked. They knock it away. St. Mary's gets there first. They faked the shot, and they they weren't ready for the pass. They looked like they were going to take the shot, and when they didn't take it, they were almost looking at the net, wondering where the ball went. Fenwick knocks it out. St. Mary's will get a corner kick. The pass came across. If she picked the pass off, she was dead center for maybe a good shot, but she wasn't really ready for the ball because she was expecting the shot to be taken by her teammate, and the ball went by. So now St. Mary's will get a corner kick. They hit a little ground ball. They got a foot on it, but it got blocked by Fenwick. Yeah, you take the shot, backing away, and they knock it way up off to the right and way out of play. Fenwick will make a couple of substitutions. Talked to the coach, who I know well, Fenwick, I said, you only played two games. Teams have played five or six. Looking to go deep. They take the shot. McKenna makes the save. I think that was Maloney again. And they lose it out of bounds. And if St. Mary's going to put it in play, and they blow the whistle and say, no, it's Fellings ball. Well, Fenwick will put it in play. Headed away by Fenwick. And knocked away. Fenwick got those two goals, but they haven't been down in the St. Mary's end that much. Maloney takes the shot and scores! She came right up on the defense. McKenna came over to the near side. She stuck it just inside the far post. <coughs> Pretty goal by Maloney. She had it. The defender was with her. She kind of used the defender as a shield. McKenna came over to the near post, and she shot it to the far side, and it just stuck inside the far post. And St. Mary's, with all that pressure, has tied it up. Trying to get it out in front. Blocked. Trying to clear it away. St. Mary's got a piece of it. And they knock it out of play. Blocked. Takes a crazy hop. Then we gets it back. And the pass was behind the intended receiver. But Fenwick keeps it alive. And they're going to call St. Mary's for the bump. The play didn't go down. Just slight contact. Enough to blow the whistle and give them a free kick. 
or around the 25 yard line. It hit the cross, hit the crossbar. Hit the post and the crossbar on the far side, that kick. You can't come any closer than that. She booted it from the 25. She got it right on the net. It hit right that spot right where the crossbar and the far post come together. It just hit right there and bounced out. So they haven't been in the St. Mary's end much. They got two quick goals. And again, I don't know what that whistle is for, but St. Mary's going to get another free kick. The kick was all around the midfield. So the two times they're in the area, they scored two. Now with the free kick, they almost scored a third. Other than that, the ball has been basically in, in the film again almost all the time. St. Mary's couldn't get control of it. It took a big bounce. They had to reach up and hit it on that big hop, and they knocked it over the net and out of play. Blocked by St. Mary's. Fellow gets it back. St. Mary's picks it off. Possibly blocked. Tip. Fellow just got a foot on it. St. Mary's looking to get a shot off. Slips by everybody. Back and forth, St. Mary's blocks it. Fenwick kicks it upfield. They knock it deep, looking for a break. Coming down the near side. Couldn't get the shot off. They waited a long time to take the shot. And St. Mary's cut them off and took it away. Good defense. I thought it was good defense. I didn't see the ball go out. I guess it did. Taylor Carafa with the throw in. And he was trying to knock it deep. Fenwick picked it off. Maloney trying to take it away. Wound up on the turf. Blocked. They almost walked in, just taken away by the defense, and he knocked it off Fenwick. Sam Sharp with the first goal, and Kiera Morgan got the second goal for Fenwick. They tip it ahead, looking to walk in. They take the shot, they knock it home. That's Maloney again, she's got a hat trick. She made a great play again, going this time going around to the left foot. She got around, beat the defense, got the shot off, and knocked it home. She's got three, and St. Mary's got that one goal lead back, three to two. She's a great three-sport athlete, 
as an eighth grader. She was an all-star in the a league all-star in softball. And here he's back at it. Looking to center it. McKenna has to make the save. I think that was Skabika sitting right in her lap. Bodies go down. That'll be called against St. Mary's. I think that was Egan with a little body check. They knock it deep. Maloney trying to get there. Can she keep it in? No, she can't. It went out. Great hustle again. When I mentioned league all-star in softball is an eighth grader. Outstanding first baseman. And then she turns around and goes and plays the outfield and plays very well there as, as well. And she was a member of the basketball team that won the state championship. And she's out here scoring a hat trick for the soccer team. And it takes it away. Tip. St. Mary's broke it up. And it gets it back. And St. Mary's breaks it up again. And again, Fenwick gets it back. Back checking by who else? Maloney. Takes it away. And it gets knocked out. Three to two, the Lady Spartans, they led one nothing. Fenwick scored two in a row to make it two to one. Now St. Mary says if you can do it, we can do it. They scored two in a row. But all three goals by Maloney. They bang it off Maloney. Nice little shift. Now it knocks it deep. McGuire was there to break it up. They separated her from the ball as she tried to break in the middle. I think that was a woomy. Bodies go down. They push it back. Cutting to the middle. Still with it. Still with it. Takes the shot. It goes wide left. I think that was Kabikas. So well, that sun is no more a bother and the lights are starting to become important. They've taken effect and it doesn't look like it's pitch black down in the field. Looking to walk in, still with it. Tom finally knocks it away. It goes out and they save it from being a corner kick, I think. It'll be a throw in. St. Mary's winds up with it. They take the shot. McKenna will make the save. She got an easy look at that one, a big hop. Yeah. 
and she boots it away. Bounces by St. Mary's. And Fenwick will look to get back in the St. Mary's zone. They haven't been there much. They got a free kick from the 25 that sailed over the goalie's head and under the crop crossbar. And there was a melee in front of the net. They, they ran into the goaltender. And one of the defenders, and the ball rolled in the net. And that was the second goal that gave him a two to one lead. St. Mary's has had three pretty goals by Brett Maloney. Excuse me, Brooke Maloney. Mary's hustling back. Fenwick has to pass it up. And so Mary takes it away. They knock it upfield. Fenwick gets it to the middle. Looking to get the shot off. Blocked and cleared away by the St. Mary's defense. And it goes out of play. And we're in the final two minutes in counting of this first half in this ebb and flow. Five goals scored, three for St. Mary's, two for Fenwick. Both teams have had a one-goal lead. St. Mary's now has their second one-goal lead. And Mary saved it. And they take it away. They try to knock it up field like a block. St. Mary's gets it back. Looking to go to the near side. Pass ahead, completes. Trying to walk in, he broke it up. A woman getting it back. Battling. St. Mary's picks it off. It skips past, but Fenwick was the only one there. They knock it to the far side and it goes out of place. St. Mary's will get the throw in just about at the Fenwick bench. Just, they stick it by the defense. The defense just got a foot on it. Shot. McKenna makes the save. Might have gone wide. Might have gone inside the near post. They blow the whistle, and that's going to do it. We reached the end of the first half, so back and forth we went. St. Mary's got the first goal. Maloney. Fenwick scored the next two to take a two-to-one lead. Maloney got two more to end her hat trick for the first half. And that gave St. Mary's the lead, and that's where we are at halftime. It's St. Mary's 3, Fenwick 2 at halftime. We're underway in the second half. St. Mary's leading it 3-2. to two. Fenwick, I mentioned again, they had those two instances where they got in, they had a free kick from the 25-yard line. And St. Mary's offside. They had a free kick from the 25. It just went over the goaltender's fingertips, and she's only about three feet tall. She's a, a sixth grader, which is unbelievable. Eleni Echeverria did a nice job. The other goal wasn't her fault. There was a melee in front. Somebody ran into her. She was down. She didn't even see the ball go in the net. There was collision out in front, and it wound up with the ball rolling by everybody, and the ball rolled in the net for a second. That gave Fenwick a two-to-one lead. And 
and then Maloney put back-to-back -back goals to give her a hat-trick. Great rushes, very nice scoring. But Fenwick, those two instances they scored, other than that, they had trouble getting it out of their own end. St. Mary's kept it in the Fenwick end most of the, the first half. They knock it deep, and they're not going to get there and save. It's going to go out of play. So McKenna will kick it away. It's Lehman McKenna in net. And we mentioned Eleni Echevarria. In net for St. Mary's. Unbelievable, sixth grader. St. Mary's again, keeping it in the Fenway again. Looking to get a shot off. Had an opportunity, didn't take it. Now they take it. McKenna makes the save. Knocks, knocks it down, grabs the rebound before St. Mary's could get there. Mary's trying to knock it deep. They knock it out. Nice little shift. Now it takes it into the St. Mary's end. Down the far side. Trying to get around. Looking to center it. They take the shot. Knocked it over the net. And out of play. That's virtually the deepest penetration with an opportunity to take a shot that they've had so far in this game other than the two scoring opportunities. I mentioned again, the first one was that free kick that went in. The other one was just a, a shot that wound up on the net and there was a collision and it rolled in. St. Mary's has it broken up by Fenwick. And looking to come back again down that far side to the middle. And pass easily picked off by St. Mary's. They knock it away and they knock it out. Pops it up. And it goes out off the Lady Spartans. Lady Spartans against the Lady Crusaders of Fenwick. Mentioned before, they had that little to do football a few years ago. Fenwick dropped them from Thanksgiving. And since then, everything has been, Fenwick beat St. Mary's badly that night at Fenwick. Since then, every game for St. Mary's has been, we have to win this game, and if we can beat them by a big score in football, and basketball, any of the sports, beat them as bad as we can. And it's become World War Three. They, they knock it in. Echeverria made the catch. She dropped it momentarily, but grabbed it quickly. Nice job by the young lady. She boots it away. They put that right on the money, right out in front of the net. Echeverria did a nice job getting it in a crowd. Just dropped it slightly but quickly grabbed it and was able to kick it away.
St. Mary's hustled to save it. The deepest part of the end zone, away over in the far corner. And then Fenwick knocked it out. So throwing comes from down deep. Blocks. Blocked and cleared into the St. Mary's bench. Contact by Fenwick. St. Mary's going to get a free kick. From long range, they kick it wide, right out of play. Coming around, trying to get around. Skabik has got taken down. She's looking look for a call, doesn't get it. That was Sophie Skabikas. And out of play. Knocked down, knocked away by Maguire, and it's going to get knocked out by St. Mary's. Maguire and Egan, Fritz, <coughs> doing a nice job defensively. Substitution for Fenwick. I was trying to get it going. Started from the near side all the way to the far side. And it skips past everybody. So Mary's clears it away. And they start it back. They knock it deep. Trying to carry it to the middle. Broken up. Fenwick will knock it out of play. So it's right back in the Fenwick end. Jim Foley, long time coach, outstanding job at St. Mary's. Family took it away. And he looked to knock it deep. Fritz is there. Play defense, keep her away, and breaking it up. Nice job. And so he's looking to carry it up. Lost it out of play. That's Kabikas. Ten minutes in and counting the second half. St. Mary's leading it three to two. They led one nothing. Fenwick got two in a row. St. Mary's got matched that with two in a row. All three goals by St. Mary's by Maloney. Yeah, it might have been McGuire knocking that out of play. Now we're trying to get a foot on it, looking to get the shot. They take the shot and they pop it high over the net and out of play.
popped up, was off St. Mary's into the Fenwick Pence area. Bodies go down and St. Mary's takes it away. Fenwick knocks it out. Carrying it down, they take the shot from long range, it goes wide. McKenna's going to let it go out of play. Good thing it went out of play because she was nine miles away from the net. So Mir was looking to keep it in play. It just rolled out. Now it breaks it up. Looking to get it going. They knock it deep. And see, maybe he's going to knock it out. It's going to go out of play. Now the cost to get it back in play. Hey. McGuire knocked it away. They were looking to get a shot. And they knocked it in. It came across. They knocked it. It went up in the air over the head of the goaltender under the cro top crossbar. And Fenwick has tied it up. It looked like that just a little tap like was going to go. They, they just almost a backward pass. It got deflected out in front. Fenwick got a foot on it. Looked like they just tipped it up and it was going by the net, over the net, and it went under the top crossbar, and Fenwick has tied it up at three. Fenwick knocks it out. So they're not getting it in the St. Mary's end a whole lot, but when they do, they're being productive. And they're calling, I think, calling it off the hand or the arm of Fenwick, and I think she maybe is going to get the free kick. Fenwick comes out of the pack with the ball and kicks it away. And it's going to go out of play. Fenwick knocks it out again. Kayla Collin is getting credit for that goal. She's happened to be in the right place at the right time. It came out in front. McKenna makes the save and takes it away from a St. Mary's player. She went in the air and picked it. But Collin was in the right place at the right time. The ball got deflected out in front. She was there, and she just kind of tipped it up in the air, and it looked like it was going to go over the top crossbar behind the net, and it just nestled inside that far post under the crossbar in the net. 
just like that, we're dead even again. We were even at one. Fenwick took the lead two to one. St. Mary's tied it at two to two. St. Mary's took the lead at three to two. And now Fenwick ties it at three to three. So both teams getting a lead, both teams making comebacks. And we got contact there against Fenwick. St. Mary's will get the kick. It'll be McGuire, I think, taking it. See, the line drives it. Uh, Fenwick will knock it out. He'll get the throw in down deep. This will be Fritz, I think, throwing it in. Knocked down. St. Mary's keeps it in. Fenwick got a piece of it. St. Mary's kept it in. Down the far side, the shot on net, but an easy save for McKenna. Took a couple of bounces right into her lap. St. Mary's missed the header. Fenwick gets it. St. Mary's knocks it back. And they're going to call St. Mary's for the contact there. From midfield, the free kick will come. They boot it deep. St. Mary's got a piece. And we're keeping it in. Everybody trying to get a piece. Fenwick got the shot, but it got blocked. St. Mary's, a couple of players knocked down. Echeverria had just got a piece of that and made the save. There were two defenders down on the turf. The ball was loose. Nobody could find a piece of it. Fenwick finally lined the shot. And Echeverria just got a piece of it and made the save. And it goes out off St. Mary's. Out off St. Mary's again. We blow the whistle because we'll have subs for both teams. Tipped away. St. Mary's trying to knock it deep. Fellick knocked it out. And they're calling it. Off St. Mary's, I think, but we've reached just about the halfway mark. 15 seconds shy. 15 seconds we'll be at the halfway mark. And we're right back where we started. Dead even. Three apiece. St. Mary's and Fenwick. Halfway through and counting. Team's dead even. And it gets knocked out, I believe, by Fenwick. Let's see if it's a corner kick or a throw-in. I think it's a corner kick. I think it's McGuire taking it. Everybody milling around the 10-yard line, waiting to break to the net, see if they can get a piece of this corner kick. Fenwick trying to keep it out. St. Mary's trying to knock it in. Out in front. McKenna got a good look at it. Dropped it. And had to clear it. And now St. Mary's got it. They throw it out in front. They got the shot, but it got blocked. It never got to the net. So St. Mary's had an 
opportunity. Now Fenwick knocks it into the St. Mary's bench area. McKenna came out and had a clear look at it, made the save, but dropped it. And St. Mary's got it back and was able to center it. And when he went to take the shot, it got blocked out in front and never got to McKenna. And now they knock it out of play and McKenna will get to kick it away. And here he's broken up. Maybe they had it in the Fenwick end, but they really haven't had a, a good scoring opportunity. They pop it to the far side. St. Mary's kept it in. Fenwick takes it away. And they started back the other way. Back checking by a woman. A woman took it away. Fenwick knocks it upfield. Headed back by Fenwick. And he knock it into the Fenwick bench area. St. Mary's will get the throw in. So back and forth we go. Every, each team has had a, a one goal lead. And now three ties, tied at one, tied at two, tied at three. Fenwick looking to get it out in front, headed away. That's the defense again. Maguire got a head on it. There was a white shirt there waiting to take a shot. And here he knocks it out. Fenwick will get the throw in. Just about in front of their bench. Fenwick like looking for the shot. They got what they wanted, but they pulled it wide left. Fenwick now the aggressor keeping in the St. Mary's end. Little left footed kick goes wide right, not much on it. That's a rear with the easy save. We missed the St. Mary's, they won their first three, they won the city tournament. And they had a little bit of a lull. They were all scored 10 to 5 in two games. They lost them both to go 3 and 2. And then they come back and won their last game to go 4 and 2. So th this is their seventh game. And Fenwick is only, this is only their third. They've only played two. As we get a sub for Fenwick. again into the Fenwick bench. Now it's St. Mary's that's trying to get something going. That goal is tied up is giving Fenwick a little momentum. They break it up. Fenwick gets it back. St. Mary's breaks it up. And they couldn't keep it in. All up in their own bench area. Fenwick will get the throw in. Now 
Oh, it takes it away. To the near side. Chip upfield by Fritz. Back deep. Maloney with a nice, Maloney just went a little, little bit of a push. Knocked the ball loose, but St. Mary's couldn't come up with it. Popped up. Maloney had to come back. She was offside. She went downfield trying to get that. When the ball was kicked up, she was behind everybody. and She didn't get back in time. They cleared the ball behind. She was back behind the defense still. So the offside gives Fenwick the free kick. They knock it in. Maloney with it. Looking to get around, try to center it. It went off Fenwick. I, I think I think they call it off Fenwick. Samirs will get a corner kick. Good hustle by Maloney. Out in front, it went right by everybody. Nobody touched it. I'm not sure what they're calling. They're giving St. Mary's a penalty kick. In that mayhem, there was contact out in front of the net and in the box. And St. Mary's is going to get a penalty kick. I think this is Kabikas. And she knocks it home. St. Mary's got their one goal lead back. I believe that was Sophie Skabikas. So St. Mary's with a little bit of a lull Offensively, that corner kick, uh, it, it, they kicked it right through everybody. It went from the near side to the far side, but there must have been some kind of a collision in between because with the contact happening in the box, it gave St. Mary's a penalty kick, and Skavikas banged it home, and now St. Mary's had a 4-3 to three lead here in the second half. They've got their original one goal lead back. See, maybe he's hustling, he take it away. Great hustle again. I think that's Maloney again. She took it away. Made the shot. McKenna had to make the save. And when she made the save, it went over the net. St. Mary's will get another corner kick. Coming from the near side. Again, it skates past everybody. Now it goes out off St. Mary's. Fenwick will kick it away. Mary breaks it up. And Fenwick knocks it out into the St. Mary's bench area. Ten minutes and counting left in this one. St. Mary's back on top by a goal. Knocked out by Fenwick.
See, Mary's keeping it alive. Down the near side, the pass too far ahead. Had to go get it. And Fenwick knocks it out. will be another corner kick for St. Mary's. If that pass was more in the direction of the net, it would have been St. Mary's walking in with a chance to get a shot. But they pushed it too far. And St. Mary's got a break when Fenwick blocked it and knocked it out. And they get another corner kick. St. Mary's got a head on it. And the header went over the net and out of play. I think that was Skabikas that got her head on it. Prince will put it in play. Knocked down. See, Mary's keeps it alive. They got a foot on it and knocked it up, and it went right to the net. I think that was Lazzarelli. And McKenna was able to make the save. So the first time in quite a while that the ball is in the St. Mary's end as bodies go down. Fenwick is going to get the free kick. They're going to call it against St. Mary's. It'll be from the 20-yard line at an angle from the near side. And he tried to go left to right. They tried to hook it. It never hooked. It just stayed out to the right. And it got Sliced out to the right behind the net, not a play. Never got to the net. That was one of those kick it off to the right, trying to slice it back, hook it back, and it just didn't hook. St. Mary's will kick it away. And we're keeping it in. And Mary's knocks it out. Femmick will get thrown down deep. So we spent a while in the Fenwick end. Now we're back in the St. Mary's end. Fenwick looking to get a goal to tie it. It came out in front. Looked like they might have a shot, but they blew the whistle before that, saying the ball went out of play. I believe it's Maguire kicking it away. Now we're trying to keep it in. St. Mary's knocks it away. Fenwick takes it away. They knock it deep. St. Mary's knocks it away. And they wind up getting control. Fenwick knocks it into their own bench area. So now the enemy for Fenwick is the clock. They need a goal to tie it. They center it. It went behind the intended receiver. Hustling back. And he looked to take the shot. It got blocked. And St. Mary's battling, still battling. St. Mary's still with it. All the way down the corner. It finally goes out. Uh, I think they're calling it off Fenwick. We're in the final five minutes. The clock stops. Kept down in the field. 
St. Mary's with the shot from long range, never got to the net, stayed out to the right behind the net, out of play. And now, Maloney hustling in, got a foot on that. St. Mary's knocks it upfield. They've got it where they want it in the Fenwick end. St. Mary's going to get called for a takedown. Fenwick will get the free kick to get it back on the St. Mary's side. They booted it, and it went out of play. St. Mary's will get the throw in. And St. Mary's lost it out. Fenwick gets it. Uh, Fenwick knocked it out. He knocked it out off Fenwick. St. Mary's will get the throw in. They want to get it down to Fenwick again and keep it there with time winding down with a one goal lead. Headed up by St. Mary's. Bouncing around. And it went out off St. Mary's. Fenwick's going to hustle a little bit. We'll giddy up in their step. St. Mary's knocks it away. Now they carry it away, and they have it right where they want it. They kick it deep. They tip it back. Fenwick knocks it out. St. Mary's in no big hurry with the clock running and the clock winding down. Locked and knocked out off Fenwick. So, St. Mary's getting what they want, keeping in the Fenwick end. Now, oh, Fenwick knocked it out off St. Mary's. St. Mary's knocks it deep. Uh, it's going to take some time. They'll get, McKenna will get the kick, but that took a little bit of time off the clock. Off St. Mary's, and uh, it goes out of play. Okay, now we're looking to quickly throw it in play. Uh, St. Mary's knocks it back the other way. McKenna with it, trying to hustle upfield. Skips past. St. Mary's just kicks it upfield. That's where they need it. Loose. St. Mary's got knocked down, no call. Fenwick looking to go to the far side. St. Mary's will let it go, hope it goes out. It doesn't, then they'll kick it out. Can't be a lot of time left. Fenwick going quickly. And St. Mary does what they have to do, knocking it deep to the Fenwick end. Headed away again. Contact called against Maloney. Fenwick knocks it up. St. Mary knocks it away. And he called contact whether it hit somebody in the hand or the arm. Fenwick has got a shot. They got a free kick from just outside the 20-yard line. 
Time winding down. This could be their last chance. Esther Maria went up in the air. It might have gone in. It might have gone wide. She went in the air, made the catch, and held on. Big time save by the young sixth grader. She boots it away. St. Mary's will kick it out of play. They boot it to the net. Fenwick knocked it in. It deflected off the goaltender. And she knocked it over the goaltender's head. And Fenwick has tied it up. Hetzeveria come out to make the save. It shot hopped her off her body. It deflected out. And Fenwick knocked it in. We're trying to figure out who got the goal. The game ended. It was a long five minutes. Fenwick, they chipped it. It went to the net. The goaltender come out. It kind of shot, hopped her, hit like around the ankle, knee, popped up, and there was a player right there to just get a foot or a knee on it and tip it over the goaltender into the back of the net. Fenwick comes all the way back. And that's got to be like a win for Fenwick and a loss for St. Mary's. St. Mary's leading four to three, and they wind up with a four to four tie. Maloney got three straight goals in the first period. She got the first one for a one nothing lead. Fenwick got goals from Morgan and Sharp. To take a two to one lead, Maloney scored two more to make it three to two. That's what it was at halftime. Fenwick came out on a goal by Collin to tie it, and then it was a penalty kick by Sophie Skabikas, four to three. And with time winding down, it looked like St. Mary's had their second win in a row, their, f their fifth win of the season. And we apologize for not getting the lady scored. The tying goal, it, numbers are impossible to pick up, and we were hoping to contact the people on the other side of the scores to get us a, a, a number, but uh, we couldn't get them. So that tying goal comes with less than a minute left in the game. It was a long five minutes, but uh, Fenwick made it pay off as they were in the right place at the right time to pick up that rebound and knock it over the goaltender, and they come away with a toy, a tie. They'll go to 0-2-1. and 1. 
St. Mary's will go to four, two, and one. Four to four, the deadlock here at Manning Field, St. Mary's and Fenwick. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.